Alrighty, so this is one uh, that we built out pretty recently, kind of a co-project here between Landon and uh, Lucas. So this is an integration using uh, Zoho Analytics as kind of an intermediate to do some automated surveying based on data that lives in Power BI and on a local server that our client is operating. Um, so really the goal here is that this client provides transportation services where things are booked via a reservation. And very quickly after that reservation is complete, ideally within 30 minutes to an hour, we want to send a survey to the rider, basically asking how's the ride, you know, XYZ, you know, all those different types of just customer satisfaction metrics that we want. Um, previously, what the customer was doing was essentially a couple times a day, they were exporting from Power BI, importing into surveys to mass send um, and doing it that way, right? So it was just a, a fully manual process. So we want to get away from that. And, you know, one of our kind of common cheat codes when we want to bring Zoho or data into the Zoho environment is to pull it into analytics. So that's exactly what we did. Um, essentially, the team set up the data bridge, uh, which is just a pretty robust way to pull data from any type of server into Zoho analytics. So if you're not on something cloud based, um, you can oftentimes use that to get the data in. Um, then we set up some custom tables using SQL to kind of blend the data to get it to look how we need. Um, and create a table that shows only reservations that were completed within that previous 30 minutes. Um, last but not least, right, we set up a scheduled function that will look at that table every 30 minutes and use the data in it to send a bunch of surveys out via SMS. Um, so the client is using a third-party SMS platform. Honestly, with those tools, it doesn't really matter which one you're using, Dialpad, Twilio, Message Media, right? They're all essentially the same. And so on our side, we're kind of just pumping out that data using the survey links to send it out. Um, we do also kind of pre-fill data onto the survey, right? The reservation ID, the name, the email, the phone, right? All that good stuff. So the people don't need to refill that in. Um, once that data is submitted, obviously it's all stored within Zoho and we can then report on it in Zoho Analytics a variety of different ways. Um, the big stuff here out of the gate is kind of satisfaction by driver, by the type of car, by the type of route, just so that our client can get a better understanding of how things are going. Um, so a big one here, really a time saver, right? This is something you can do with an export import. Um, but the big takeaway is just that you shouldn't have to, right? You can just set up a little schedule, build it once, and it'll work for you in the long term. Very, very, very nice. Uh, nice job, Landon and Lucas. And you might notice it says Lucas, senior consultant rather than senior developer. Um, Lucas has been with us for quite a while, uh, was absolutely our senior developer and one of our top developers, and also had been doing a lot of consulting over the last little bit. And now he's kind of moved full time into that role. So um, congratulations to Lucas as well. Nice implementation.